Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Floral Essence. Um, when I made this card I used that stamp and hand cut out six of them because I don't have the punch. But I'm going to replace them with this big one here. I have stamped and cut out the big ones. As you can see, I haven't coloured them in yet, so we'll do that together. Also going to use the leaf and the punch to go with it. So I need three of them. And I also need two of them, which we should do. And I'm going to use the sentiment, all days are beautiful, that begin with you. So we're going to use that. To make the card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a piece of black card, basic black, and this is five and three eighths by three and five eighths. So I wanted a bigger white border. I've got a bit of designer series paper. This is from the Twinkle Twinkle Star paper from last year, or last catalogue now retired and this is three and a quarter by five and a quarter is that right no three and a half by five and a quarter and that will just go on there and a piece of white cardstock for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths i've got some strips of basic black an inch and i'll cut this down a piece of white at an inch and a piece of petal pink and this is just over an inch I think no that's an inch that's three quarters of an inch and that's just under an inch just to give us three little strips you can't see them they're under the flower peeking out and that will go across there I've also got a scrap of white for the sentiment and I'll be using a punch for that and I've got some scraps of white for the flowers and the leaves and these leaves so let's get started with our stamping so first of all we will stamp the sentiment which I haven't got out typical Shaking the table, and my husband's just made me a cup of tea. Alright, so that's all I need the black for. I'm bringing in Pretty Peacock, one of the new ink colours. And this is for the funny leaves. I call them funny leaves because they're not going with the punch and we need two of them and we will cut them out because I don't have any cut out ready for them clean that stamp and that's all we need that now I would have stamped these flowers out in pretty peacock but as I've already done it and cut them out I don't need to do them Right, basic grey, uh, smoky slate. Now this is for the circles, centres of these flowers. And that's all I want to do with them. And now... Smoky slate, that's right. 
we're going to do three leaves and punch them out. Turn it round and I should. No, I'm not. I'm not going to get them on there either. Let's see if I've got any more scrap. There's a scrap here. And there's our three leaves for us to punch out. So that is our stamping done. So with our leaf punch, that's this one. I'm going to punch out these leaves. This image with the punch does leave quite a big border all the way around. Right, that's them done. Now I have got this two inch circle punch which I'm going to use to punch out this image, but that's too big. have a load of them punches but they're all slowly breaking. So that's our leaves, that's that, there's our flowers, we've got to colour them in and we just need to cut these out. Oh fussy cutting, you must hate me. So all I do is fussy cut. made three of these cards using this stamp set and they're all fussy cutting. to manage with a small bit because you can turn it round easier. As you can see, all I do is turn the paper rather than the moving the scissors. And because it makes it easier to cut out. Concentrating. Oh, 
Right. So that one cut out. Right, all we've got to do is colour in these. Now, I did want to use Bermuda Bay Shaded Spruce. Hmm. Pretty peacock. I thought I had it. Right. Pretty peacock. All I did was didn't go to the edge. Turn it round and keep. Just flicking up. And that was all I did to colour that in. I think that looks quite better than a block of colour. That way no two flowers are the same. I don't know if you can see that from up there, but that's what they look like. So let's put this car together. Oh, I've got these strips to sort out. Right, all I did was cut these strips at an angle going the same way so this one wants a bit bigger so I'm going to cut it like that oh, it didn't turn out much bigger let's have the white one a bit bigger no. Right, start gluing down. Right, glue the paper onto the black card, leaving a tiny border all the way round. Glue this onto the card base. And we leave a bigger than normal border all the way around. Right. These cards, um, how are we going to have this? Have it like that sitting on there. So, bit of black on there. Let's take that off, no, never. And then the white can come out the other end, that's it. So 
So let's glue all this down. These two will come down like that. We'll have a leaf up there, a leaf there, and a leaf there. And the sentiment will come under there like that. These leaves will just stick out either end there now then this flower is going to be flat before it dries too much let's stick these leaves underneath it. I want that to side a bit. And this one up like that. And this one is going on dimensionals. So it's the sentiment. Might as well do that while I'm here. Right, get the second flower. I can tell I had some on the other side of that. And stick that down there. So glue the other leaves in. And this one. And this one. Wanted that there, so it's over that one. And then the sentiment. Just there. And then the piece for the inside. So that's straight. Yeah. Didn't look straight. Right, all we need now is some gems. Now on this one I put little pearls, like a silvery pearl. And I did three, so Let's have one there, one, there, this one needs to come down a bit, 
That's it. And one down there. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.